everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Moira and today I am going to build my first design plate in The Sims 4. Well, technically it wasn't really my first first design plate. This is my first final design plate. So, diba? Medyo nakakalito. So, this was my finals ganun, when I was in first year, first sim. And it's a cube complex and I'm going to tell you all about it. React time! I'm gonna move a little bit here. Para nandito yung picture because I couldn't find it as in yung my actual design plate. I'm not sure if I threw it away or hindi lang talaga binalik sa amin. So, ito. Buti pinicturean ko dati. So, ding! Okay, so this is my perspective. My super garbage perspective. Yikes! So, anyways, our plate was... First, it was a group design plate where we had to come up with like a complex kind of house and the maximum of each house would be six by six, but we were free to shape it any to any shape. Ano? Bilang ano mga tamad. <laughs> Sabi namin square. As in ginamit namin buong six by six. Tapos tatan ako pa. Tandang tanda ko yun eh habang nagrepresent kami. Sabi ko we chose to just stick to the square shape or make it into a cube because even though it's simple, you could arrange it in such a way that it would look modern. Sparring pa ako. Kita niya naman, hindi ako magaling mag-drawing. <laughs> Kasi ang pangit talaga. So anyways, um, there were six houses in total. Ginawa siyang complex. Our final design plate is that each of us may piniling house doon and i-design namin siya, pati yung loob. Exterior is kind of inspired by Pete Mondrian. So insert ko yung picture of his painting that kind of inspire the exterior of our plate. So we have the elevations. And so yeah, it's pretty similar to the painting. Front elevation, and then we also have left and right side elevation. And then here is the floor plan. So it's only six by six, so it's small, but I was able to fit a lot in it actually. There's the floor plan of the first floor, and then the second floor. Yeah, and this is the master bedroom with actually it's just a loft type with office space and also a walk-in closet. Wow, that means that makes space, kasha bayan. And then we have a section, super lifeless section, na walang ka kulay kulay. Here is the perspective. This is one of my favorite perspectives that I ever did. Yeah, that's the view of the ground floor. It's actually really cute. And then we have the bedroom. Although here I could already see that one thing that I would have changed is instead of just yung railings behind the bed, I would have made it into a wall talaga. Or at least my vertical slats para well mas safe. And sayang kasi na I didn't put any accent behind the wall. So medyo sayang. So anyways, enough with this reaction. Oh, naging reaction video na. If you want to see what it looks like on The Sims, then keep on watching. Woo! Hi everyone. So, eto na naman tayo. So, here I am first building the exterior, of course. Although I couldn't find like a floor plan or a reference for how everything in the complex looked like. I on the only reference I had was that yung perspective that I made na sobrang trash, de ba? So, medyo sa likod, I'm not sure if I did it right, but it still works. And this could actually be a really cool design for I don't know student housing or something. Uh, both in real life and in The Sims 4 because they're gonna release uh, the university packed something soon. I want it, pero lang pero. Okay, anyways, so here I'm trying to make the walkways that will go to each, um, what would I call it? Each apartment. And then there I realized that I made a mistake. It, sh it should have been on the third floor and I did it on the second floor. So on that make erase erase ganyan. Okay. Oh my gosh, I already don't know what to talk about. I was trying to think of some of my experiences when I was a freshie that I could like talk about ganon. But I can't remember anything anymore. But if you want to learn more about you know being a freshy tips ganon. I actually uploaded a video previously. It's called 
oh my god, what was it called? Uh, what I wish I knew before college. And I really, really like the turnout of that video. So, if you wanna get some tips, you know, before you uh, go into college, it will be linked down below. Okay, so anyways, back to this build. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dinagdag ko pa yung nagi isang puno na nandun sa perspective ko. <laughs> na sobrang wala ang wala. And I also tried to mimic, like, the curves of the rock ano? <laughs> of the cement the, in my perspective so yun. and I really like how it turned out in the back with the balcony and everything because I think it could also be like a communal space for those who will, who will be living here and then now I'm just adding the windows and I'm placing them randomly because you know, we got to customize each of our own apartment in our group so I don't know how the others uh, designed there so whatever I just did random ones although in real life medyo atong nasa likod na cube my advantage siya because uh, the, her his or her apartment is gonna be more private but it won't have much sunlight well depends if wherever they're facing so ayun. okay so anyways now I think I'm going to be adding the um, paint I chose pink and yellow because of course pink I have to choose pink and then I think yellow just for a nice pop of other color <laughs> usually because it's pink and purple so sabi ko, iba naman, pink and yellow and I think it's like a really really cute bubblegum pink so ang cute niya. it's so Barbie as in okay <laughs> yeah and then for the others I'm just choosing random colors as in super random talaga it was kind of running out of colors but whatever and then yeah so see you get to customize your own apartment and I think it's a really cool idea nga kasi like yun nga for students mga college kids sobrang they're they have so much personality that they can incorporate it into architecture. Well, I go on and up in class of Rico. So, yeah. So, it kind of looks a little weird, to be honest. But if, if, like, in real life, na hindi super blockish, it's gonna look nice. So, anyways, here I'm customizing my own apartment. So, uh, this is based on my floor plan and everything. So, first, I did the kitchen just so I could see how it could fit since you know so I'm gonna proportion Sims 4 and then I forgot that I had like a divider with the kitchen so erase erase <laughs> and I just put up a half wall there and painted it pink which I thought was really cute but then because of that I forgot to put back the sink <laughs> so there's literally no sink in this house but may wala din naman but I think I'm going to add this to the gallery. If you don't know what the gallery is, it's a feature in The Sims where you can um, download other people's creations. You could also upload there. So I'm, I'm gonna upload this. My username is That's Moira. And I think I'm gonna call this the Cube Complex. Wow! So, you know, if you wanna customize the others, kung may Sims din kayo. Wala lang para fun. So, anyways, here is the dining room room um it was supposed to be four chairs but i could only fit in two and fun fact um the one i drew in my perspective was a ghost chair because i really really wanted a ghost chair so and now i'm sitting in the ghost chair so brown whoa and i might sell this soon because i'm imagine like but anyways wala lang cool diba parang dati din drawing mo lang wini wish mo lang ngayon dito na ino pa ano okay Ooh, Moira, what is this? Okay, so anyways, next we have the living room and I drew an L-shaped sofa but there are no L-shaped sofas in The Sims so I had to like cheat and like and move some objects but it was a little hard because the, I don't know, it looked a little weird. Yun. Even, even if that's what I decided on, I think still looks a little weird and I had to size down the tables because it wouldn't fit anymore and kapag pala nag-size down ka ng 
table, you can't put anything on top of it anymore. <laughs> it's literally, it was literally floating. So, yun. Okay, and what else was I gonna say? I was gonna talk about something, but I forgot. Ah, okay. So, ito, guys. I'm thinking, as in literal, kanina ko na Um, if I want to do a video, like, talking about the pros and cons of studying architecture. I mean, it was suggested in the comments, and I felt a little bit hesitant about it because I think pros and cons are super personal, so I can't like speak for all, but you know, I think it would also be a good guide on what to expect in architecture. Um, so if you want to... If you want me to make that video, comment down below. <laughs> and I might make it, but you know, everything that I will be saying in that video will just be based on your know, personal experience. So don't come after me. Okay, anyway, so here we have the bedroom. And then I couldn't freaking um, fix that railing. Kasi, ayan, nakita nyo ba? Medyo may pag ganun siya. Um, kasi, if you delete it, the whole stair is gonna be deleted because it was L-shaped stairs. When in reality, pwedeng pwede ka naman maglagay ng like itaas dun kasi may height limit naman pagdating sa stairs kung kailan ka pwedeng maglagay ng uh, floor pa sa taas or kailangan open na siya. So, wala lang. So, annoying sims. My God, don't you have a building code? <laughs> okay, anyway. So, here is the home office. And, oh nga pala, I customized those gallery walls as in Customize ko pa yung like shape, ay shape yung size ng bawat frame. And then that pink plant, surprisingly, na nasa drawing ko, nasa Sims 4 din ang galing. And then here, there was supposed to be a sofa, but it wouldn't fit anymore. It looked awkward, so I just put in an ottoman. And for some reason, I really, really like it when a room is very colorful to the point that it feels like it's mismatched, but it works out. It's very kitsch, parang ganon. Kinda like um, Monica's apartment in the in Friends. I really really like the design there, even though yung nga, it's very, it doesn't really have much of a theme, but it works. So, yeah, that's kind of the style that I like, weirdly enough. And then they're adding lights, and then I almost forgot to put in a chair, but but I didn't forget it, although there are no things in this house. <laughs> okay, so I think that's it. guys that is it for this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe and also don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you're updated whenever i post a new video comment down below what videos you want to see next and i hope to see you next time bye